Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a white musket cap breech plug, convert it over to a traceo nipple, replaceable nipple, uh, number 11 cap breech plug. Okay, I hope you can hear over the air conditioner fan going here. Um, you ready to modify a white musket cap plug to accept the traceo nipple? Um, so here's the dimensions. This is for foreign member Ed Mealy. Uh, here's the dimensions of his plug. It's 1.133 overall. It's actually 1.325, but just round it to 1.33. Um, the dimension on the hex is 0.213. The dimension on the nipple, 0.227. The dimension on the threaded portion, 0.685. And the dimension of the depth of the hole, 0.460. So when I did all the math to add this trace on nipple, keep it the same length, I've got a drill and to keep the, you know, the flash hole on the nipple, even with the bottom of the, the pocket there, the powder pocket, I've got to drill this to 0.495, which is 35 thousandths deeper. It's actually 38, but I'm going to only go 35. Um, because of the rounded portion of the hole, you know, that's going to add a little bit. Plus, I was measuring with the, the square portion of my calipers. So, you know, 3,000 is a pretty uh, small allowance there. I just I just like the where the threaded portion comes in, where the base of that nipple comes in. I like it to be, I like it to plane into that radius. And it's not going to, but it's going to be pretty dang close. Um, so to modify this, I've got to cut off 438 thousandths off the overall length of the plug. And then I've got to set up and, and cut the 3 8 hex for his nipple wrench back on it. So it's going to shorten the threads up some, um, which if you've seen any of uh, Jeff's plugs, that's how they are. Um, it's kind of what I'm copying here. So, anyway, I'm going to pause it here. We'll go over to the lathe. I've already got the um, breech plug in the lathe, getting ready to drill um, to the 495 depth. Uh, and we'll pick it up. So I've got the part sitting in the lathe, chucked up. Um, 3 8 round end, end mill, four flute in the tail stock. Um, you can see this. I'm going to run it out to one inch to the marks just showing them and back it up one full turn boom right there one full turn back i'm going to push it up this is going to be hard to do with one hand i'm going to put a 30 thousandths feeler gauge in now maybe we can see it better up here clean the feeler gauge off Put that in. I'm going to push up till I just touch the feeler gauge right there. I'm going to go to 70 thousandths because I was at 900 on the tail stock right there. So we go 70 plus the 30 thousandths is 100 thousandths, which should put me right at one inch. Go back to 70, and we're going to move forward 30. There's the one inch just coming out of the end there. So then we got to go to 495. Let's lay it on. I'm going to drill this slow. The lubricant in there. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go to 95. Five, ninety, five. Back out. Shut the lathe off. 
and then we're going to flip the part around and cut off the, I think it was 438, I'll have to look again, but anyway, we'll pick it up there. Okay, so we've cut it off, um, I thought I was filming, I wasn't, so I apologize about that. We've got a number three drill bit in there, which is the one we use for quarter 28, which is what's on those uh, um, tracer nipples. So we're gonna we're gonna go up in speed a little bit. Um, let's go to 220. B3. We're gonna drill through for the quarter 28. We don't have to drill very deep. Pull that. And we're just gonna take this little chamfer bit and just by hand, we're gonna lightly chamfer that hole. Knock the burr off of it. And we're going to throw a quarter 28 tap in the chuck. Tighten that in there good. And we're going to shut the power off to the lathe. Blow that hole out good, lose the tap up good. And we're going to tap this by hand with the tailstock just loose so it can just float up there with the hull. Push it in and just rotate the chuck by hand. Back it out, blow it, tap off, blow the hole out. I'm gonna shift it into a higher gear. I'm gonna make the chuck easier to turn. Go the rest of the way in. And we're all the way through, right there. Back it out. And we're done in the lathe. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the tapped hole. That trace on nipple should come in pretty close to the bottom of that pocket. Anyway, now we're off to the mill.
All right, so I ran out of space um, on my phone, which is what I'm videoing with, iPhone 8. Um, so I've got the first hex cut. I measured it. I intentionally cut it big and I had to move in um, 43 thousandths to get to a 375. So we're going to do the last cut here, which should take me to a 3 eighths hex on this thing. Um, and we'll do that now. I'm just using WD-40. This stainless is pretty soft. I don't know what Doc used for these. I'm betting it's 416 because the machine's really easy. And just thinking about that, I thought, you know, the, the softer stainless probably has a little bit of an advantage with uh, seating off against the back of the barrel. I'm going to rotate it uh, 60 degrees, it's right there, we'll go again, and it's soft enough the jaws are, are denting the threads ever so slightly, so I'm going to have to like, clean those up with a file. And, um, send this off to Ed. I'd probably actually just remake this thing um, where I can do all the machining without grabbing the threads with anything so they don't get damaged. And that's cutting pretty close to the hole also. Which I honestly why I prefer my design a little better. Um, I think my design is a stronger plug. Um, but I'm going to cut one of those also and send off to Ed. Just, I've already got it cut. I just need to cut the hex on it. But you have to have a special tool to get the nipple out, so um, which I also make. But that takes a little extra time and adds a little bit of cost to it. This should be the last pass right here. wrench on it doesn't quite fit box in box in fits the flat doesn't but that's a harbor freight wrench for you so let's try the calipers if I can remember where I put the stupid things hang on Go across the flats there. Yeah, three. Yeah. Back up a little further. So 
that's exactly 375. Let's come over two thousands. Okay, let's go around one more time. See what we get. Should be last pass. And the flats go on, but they go on tight, but they do go on. The box end drops right on, perfectly like it should. So we're gonna call that good, hopefully it works out. Um, there we go. Let's pull it out of there. As you can see, it shortened the threads up quite a bit. Um, Grab a nipple. Sorry, as we walk through the messy shop here, use the nipple right there. So anyway, there you go. We'll round some edges off with a file, make sure that we got some good clean threads. Do that a little bit. You can see those little flat spots where I grabbed it with the vise. 
I don't think they're going to really affect anything because that's your sealing edge. But I'm going to hit them with a file anyway. Good job. the third job. Oh, and once again, you know, here's here's my design where I recess the nipple in and grapple with a half inch flat. Um, but this is a new plug and it is made from 416 stainless. Let's see how we came out on ads. About the same, we got about a half a thread there. Show on. And a little bit of chatter mark, but um, not bad. So, anyhow, there you go. White beef plug modification.